The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Psalm 126, 3. Merry Christmas! Welcome to our new series called Joy Story. I'm super excited to be talking about things that give us joy. So toys and movies about certain toys can bring us joy. People can bring us joy. But there's one thing that can bring us truly everlasting joy, and that's the love of Jesus. Christmas is the time when we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Uh, we're doing that right now. You see things all over the place. You see them in shops, and you hear it on the music and the radio, and you see it in movies, on TV, or um, on your videos that you're watching. Um, Jesus came to seek and save that which he had lost, us. Christmas story begins when an angel tells Mary that she's going to have a son. She's going to name Jesus. And as soon as Mary hears this joyful news, she goes to visit her cousin, Elizabeth, who's also expecting a baby. And so we're going to read what happens when these two ladies meet each other. And it is filled with joy, I promise. So Luke chapter 1, verses 39 through 45. And it says, in those days, Mary arose and went with haste to the hill country to a town in Judah. When she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth, then when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my room leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be the fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. Well, the reason that Elizabeth's baby did a flip when Jesus came near was her son would be named John, um, and he's best remembered as being John the Baptist. John was a prophet of God, and he was said to prepare the way for Jesus. Even as an infant, John knew that Jesus was going to be special. Well, the toys we receive at Christmas can bring us joy for a time but that joy will fade. Things will get lost. Um, they won't be as fun anymore because they're older toys. There's one thing that can give us truly everlasting joy, and that's the love of Jesus. And when we find the love of Jesus, and we receive a joy that is going to stay with us forever. Finding the love of Jesus gives us true joy that never fades. So whatever you find under your tree this Christmas, I hope that you find joy as well. And if you haven't found that joy yet, um, I ask you to ask your mom and dad about it, ask your grandparents, aunts and uncles, and ask people at church too, how do I find that joy that will help me last forever, that joy that will last forever when I find the love of Jesus? Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy this Christmas season and find joy wherever you go. See you later, guys. It's part of your joy story. Keep track of all the times that you are reminded of the story of Jesus this week and the decorations you see and the Christmas songs you hear. How does the story of Jesus give you joy?